Kia ora Year 12 and welcome to this video tutorial on grace and the afterlife and the Catholic perspective. We've got a couple of goals for today's learning. The first is to recognise how Christians hope in God's grace, mana atua, and the strength that they gather from that in times of grief and times of loss. And secondly, it's to identify the hope that Christians have in the resurrection of the dead. So Christians grieve the same as other people do when death occurs or when something traumatic happens in their lives. But they also believe in the grace of God and that God will give them the strength they need to cope whatever has happened in their life. So sometimes we just have to put our trust in God and rely on the Holy Spirit. The support of family and friends are also really important during these times of grief. A key question to ask is why do we have hope? We have hope when faced with death because we believe that our life has changed, not ended by death. So when we die, it means that our physical body dies, but our spiritual body, which we call a soul, lives on in heaven with God. We are strengthened in our faith by faith in Jesus, who suffered during his life, was put to death and rose again, to a new, more glorious life than before. So through his life, death and resurrection, Jesus has opened heaven to all those who believe and follow in him. We have hope because we believe that our loved ones who have died will rise again with Christ and, and enjoy eternal life with God. Sometimes people describe death in the Catholic perspective as going to God or going home to God. Sometimes the people who are left feel abandoned or angry with God. Now, let's remember Jesus himself felt abandoned by God when he was on the cross. But when he rose from the dead, Jesus found that he was not abandoned at all. We believe that death does not break the bonds of love and that our deceased ones are part of the communion of saints in heaven. The communion of saints is a name for all the people who are in heaven, and they become part of this communion and community. Now, none of us know what death or what heaven will be like. The scriptures actually use various images to describe what it could be like, and here are some of the potential images. We have everlasting life, light or peace, uh, a feast, like a dinner, uh, the Father's house with many rooms, uh, a heavenly city, or the New Jerusalem, a paradise, which is links to uh, Islam, when we've looked at their idea of heaven, and a return to the original perfection of God's creation when we look at the Genesis story. Now, St. Paul actually said that because no one has seen, heard, or even has an image of what God prepares for those who love God, uh, what it could be, it is this hope of living forever with God that gives us the courage to cope during these difficult times of grief and to look beyond the pain that we experience towards the greater plan that God has for us. So let's recap our learning goals. Are you able to recognize the Christian idea of hope in God's grace, mana atua, and the strength that Catholics receive during times of grief and loss? And finally, can you recognize how hope that Catholics have and the resurrection of the dead helps them during their times of grief and loss and the idea of the afterlife.